Welcome to the Action Martial Arts Expo, the UCW radio show. We're here with a prominent martial artist. She's a champion amongst champions, uh, Christine Bannon Rodriguez. Christine, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's All right, great uh, to be here. Uh, tell us what's going on with you. Oh, just keeping busy, you know, traveling, doing seminars, uh, you know, teaching and building my school and... Mm -hmm. You know, doing a lot of tournaments. My son's heavily involved in the competition. Plus, we run one of the you know top NASCA tournaments throughout the country. Uh, I, in my opinion, the top. <laughs> so, getting ready for that because that's coming up in April. So, it's just busy, busy. But you're here at the Action Martial Arts Expo. You're here every year. You've been coming here for the past what ten years or so? Yeah, about that. You know, it's uh, it's something we always put on our schedule. You know, it, we already know a, a year in advance, and it's definitely a date we try to put aside and make sure that we can all make it. Well, you again, you've been coming here and you've experienced it from the beginning and now you're here again this year. You know, I mean, has this event gotten better and better over time? Oh, definitely. I mean, Alan has just every year, I don't know how he tops the year before, but he, he somehow does, you know. <laughs> he, he definitely does, and he brings together some of the top martial artists in the world, including yourself, you, you know, Don, and uh, I mean, the, the list goes on and on, but we're not talking about those people. We're talking about you right now. So what do you have? you have uh, any uh, movie things going on, any any projects going on? Um, some projects in the works, but nothing, you know, concrete right now that I'm working on, you know, just... Uh, Keeping up with Macho uh, Macho products, trying to work on a new uh, product line of uh, CBR design and some some other stuff. So excited about that and just you know getting ready for this big tournament coming up and hitting the NASCAR circuit. We're starting off uh, the end of the next week, actually first tournament of the year. My name is Christine Bannon Rodriguez from Warwick, Rhode Island. I'm a nine-time world champion in karate, and I teach at the Don Rodriguez Karate Academy. I started martial arts over 30 years ago, you know, got involved in the competition, started setting small goals as far as becoming a champion in Rhode Island, a New England champion, and then set goals of being a national champion, and I did that several times. I won nine Waka World titles. Right after that, I started getting involved in film work, stunt doubling for people in some big movies, and really fell in love with that kind of work too, and of course, teaching all my students and trying to help them become the best that they can be and whatever their goals might be. Being a female in the martial arts at the beginning was definitely a big challenge. I was in a classroom filled probably 90% men. Now, there weren't many women involved. Even the women's divisions were always mixed in with the men. It was men and women together when we were competing. And then becoming a school owner, I was the main instructor. And that was always a challenge when you'd have guys coming off the street and I kind of have to persuade them to watch a class and not really get into the fact that I was the instructor. And once they watched, they, they were sold on it. Um, now it's, my classes are pretty much 50-50 as far as girls and boys. So it's great to see so many girls involved in the martial arts now. I think it's a necessity. I think, you know, no girl should be going to school, especially high school and college, without knowing that self-defense and being able to protect themselves and having that confidence. I think the martial arts are very, very important for women. Well, a lot of people don't know this, that in, in NASCAR you have a lot of these uh, young, and you and I spoke about it, a lot of these young movie stars like Tyler Lautner, Taylor Lautner, uh, Ryan Pinkston, and a, a lot of these young stars that actually built up through NASCAR. Right, right. That's that's where they started, you know, um, the Mike Chats and, you know, um, John Valeras and people like that, you know, and they... And, they become very good competitors. They get used to being out in front of the crowd, get put on stage all the time. Then it becomes, you know, whether it's ESPN performing and stuff. And then before you know it, someone's spotting them out there and wanting them to stunt double in a film or something. And, and it just, you know, that's where they're going, the cream of the crop. Yeah, then it's like, Christine who? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're doing some great things out there. Why don't you let the, uh, the viewers know how to find out more about you, your website and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Facebook. I have a fan page, Christine Bannon Rodriguez. Um, my school page is DonRodriguezKarateAcademy.com, and we also have OceanStateGrandNationals.net. So you're, you're not tweeting yet, then? Uh, not tweeting. A little bit. <laughs> little tweet. Little, 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 little okay. tweet here and there. You know, but yeah, so definitely you've been doing a lot of great things in the world of martial arts. You've been, you know, profiled on numerous covers of magazines and everything you know and you're still doing it and you, your kids are actually involved in the arts and they're involved in making movies what's going on with that 
Oh, yeah. My uh, my oldest son got, you know, a major role in, in a film that we shot in Rhode Island a couple years ago. And um, he's becoming one of the top competitors out there with NASCAR. You know, he's uh, very much into the tricking and stuff. And he's my forms and weapons guy. And my, my other son's my fighter. So, <laughs> so Taylor Lorton should actually watch out for him. <laughs> I hope so. I think it's coming. Chris, thank you for coming on on the show. And uh, we're going to have you on the show tomorrow. We're doing a live show. So it's going to be very interesting. Thank you, sir.